Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Diamond Tunga with Social Studies for Wednesday. Today, um, we're going to be talking about the New England colonies. Um, several colonies get settled just because of differences of opinion, but um, we're going to talk about some of the New England colonies today. So let me flip the camera and show you the area we're talking about. Um, the states that are involved, and then give you some historical background on the colonies, okay? Hold on just a moment. Okay, so if you look at the map here, these are the colonies that are, um, are the states nowadays, uh, present day, modern day states that are involved, okay? So um, some of the other colonies, original 13 colonies are down here. Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island, okay? You will have to know those for IXL, um, I believe. So uh, the the modern day states are those, okay? Okay. Um, Oh, you can't see the whole page. Let me try this again. Sorry, guys. Okay, so on Monday we talked about the separatists and how they wanted to separate from the Church of England. Well, today, this is the group I was talking about, the Puritans. They wanted to change or make pure, and you can see that in the word Puritans, the Church of England. They didn't want to leave the church. They just wanted to get back to the Bible and what the Bible taught. In 1628, the Massachusetts Bay Colony helped the Puritans settle in North America. John Winthrop was the governor and minister. He used a metaphor, a city on a hill, to explain to people that they should act like everyone is watching them. This actually comes from the Bible. Jesus tells us we are like a city on a hill. Um, people are watching us. People were watching them. And he wanted them to live according to the Bible and be a model to the community. So he used that phrase that he got from the Bible, a city on the hill. They founded Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. The settlements were set up in a similar way. All of them looked similar, uh, the different villages and stuff. The meeting house was the biggest building, and it was used for government to make decisions and laws, and it was also used for their church services. So the meeting house was a very important building in the community. They also had wooden stocks that they could put people who did things wrong. Um, a person's head and sometimes arms would be put in holes as punishment. People could walk past them and make fun of them. Um, it wasn't a very nice thing. Here's a picture of the stocks. Okay, Here's um, somebody's head could be going through there or their head and arms. But this is where the, something like that. Okay, Descent we have two words that we need to know. Dissent is voicing a different opinion or idea. Sedition is convincing people to rebel against their leaders. Okay, so we have three people that had dissent. They had a different opinion or idea. Roger Williams, and you do have to know where he settled eventually, was banished from Boston because he disagreed with the church and the government. He felt that the church and government should not be connected, and he believed they should tolerate other religious beliefs. So I would take notes on this. Roger Williams is banished from Boston, and he settles in Providence, Rhode Island. You will have to know that. Roger Williams, Providence, Rhode Island. Anne Hutchinson was also banished from Boston because she taught that being a good Christian was about personal faith. She thought it was about personal faith, not following the rules of the church. Now, 
I mean, as Christians, we follow what the Bible tells us, and those are usually, for us, what the church teaches. But she felt it was more about personal faith. Um, she and her followers, and you're going to need to know this, Anne Hutchinson, or no, you won't need to, but um, settled in Portsmouth. Okay. Then you have Thomas Hooker. The church leader said you could only vote if you belong to the church. Thomas Hooker felt voting should not have anything to do with religion, so he was banished from Boston. This you do have to know. He was Hartford. He settled Hartford, Connecticut. Okay, so if I go back to the front page, you have... Um, Oh, I lost his name now. John Winthrop. Okay. John Winthrop settled Boston, Massachusetts. So you should know that. John Winthrop. Boston, Massachusetts. Then Roger Williams settled Providence, Rhode Island, or started Providence, Rhode Island. Thomas Hooker started Hartford, Connecticut. And then in 1638, we have the Fundamental Orders. This was a plan of government in Connecticut. It was considered to be the first constitution in North America. So this came out of Thomas Hooker's um, settlement. Okay, so now you go back to Social Studies, Religion and Growth, New England Colonies, Religion and Growth, A4. Okay. Have a great day.